Imagine you're sitting in your AP Calc exam and you're already low on time, and then you come across this question. Find the integral of x to the 4 times e to the x. At this point, you've probably already recognized that this is an integration by parts problem. The method that's taught in most schools is tedious and wastes your time. For example, if I try to do it the way I learned it in school, then it would take me almost three and a half minutes, which you really don't have in the AP exam. What you want to be doing is this. Here's how to do the DI method. The DI method is just another way of organizing what I did with the million tables when I first did it. This is how we set it up is we have our D stands for differentiation column. We have our I for our integration column. And then on the side here, we do plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Now that we have this set up, we need to pick the function we're going to differentiate and the which one we're going to integrate. So now when we do this, we ideally want one of these columns to go to zero. And you see x to the fourth is a polynomial, which if we differentiate it enough, will go to zero. So we're going to put x to the fourth in our D column. And the only one that's left is e to the x, so we're going to put e to the x into our integrating column. Now we just differentiate down and integrate down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the first sign and the first d item, and then we're going to go diagonal to the second i item. We're going to multiply all of these together, and that's our first term of our answer. Now to get to next, we take this sign, this term, and this term. We multiply all these together, and that's the second term of our answer. And we get the rest of the terms a similar way. We just keep going diagonal. Now, technically, when we run out of items in the i column, what we would now do is multiply all these together and add their integral. But since we have 0 times e to the x, it would just be integrating 0, which is 0. So we get the same result. Don't forget your plus c. And that's the problem solved in like less than 30 seconds. Send this to a friend who's a slow test taker. It might help them on the calc exam.